just, when he arrives, they have just left the planet. Right? And then the next one has just left. Oh, boy. So this whole Narantan Vilas is a, is a story of an inconceivable experience of separation. It's just too much. I mean, really, I mean, it leads up to a point where you just say, this is too much, this is too much. How can, how can, you, how can you tolerate it? I can't even tolerate reading it. Huh? It's like that. Um, and then, just when Narantam is sort of deciding to give up, right? give up his life, to just say, well, enough is enough. I mean, uh, you know, this is too much. I can't take it. And we sympathize with him. We say, yes, Narutam, we understand. Then Narutam has a dream. And the whole Panchatattva appears in the dream and begins to dance in the greatest ecstasy. And, and all the associates, the eternal associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are there. And it is a huge gathering, an enormous Kirtan and Narutam just falls in uh, flat like a stick in front of the Lord and then and he prays and then Lord Chaitanya picks him up and just embraces him embraces him and says Narata go to Vrindavan and then Lord Nichananda takes Narata embraces him and says Narata go to Vrindavan Advaita Acharya embraces Narata and says, Narata, go to Vindal. And then a whole bunch of tattva and all the associates embrace Narata and they all say, Narata, go to Vindal. So, you know, when Narata woke up, he sort of thought, well, um, I guess, well, they want me to go to Vindal. You know? <laughs> Something like that. Uh, maybe a little stronger. And uh, he was sure uh, not I guess, it was I must go to Vrindavan. So then Narata would uh, started walking towards Vrindavan. And then on the way, in the evening, he would come to some village and he would halt in that village. And the people in the village, they were immediately overwhelmed by seeing Narata's ecstatic mood. Narata had been chanting the whole way and came completely effulgent and glowing into this village and, and all the people in the village were just amazed by him. And they're all attracted, in fact, so much that they said, oh, you would want to stay here for the night. Oh, no, you must stay in my house. Someone said, yes, you should stay in my house because I have a pankabari, which means I have a house of bricks, you know, oh, and he must stay here. I said, no, no, he's just humble. He likes to stay in a humble place, so he should stay in my house. So everyone was arguing that he should stay in his house. Finally, Narutam stayed somewhere. And the whole village would come and heard from him. And then the next morning, when it was time to go, um, all the villagers just, just told him, Narutam, Narutam, please, please, please stay. And Narutam, he said, we just can't tolerate it. We can't tolerate it that you leave. And Narutam said, yes, yes, I also, I cannot leave. I cannot leave. I can't tolerate it to go. I said, I cannot do it. But I have the order of Lord Chaitanya Lord Nichananda and I place to try all the others to go to the Dharma. So what can I do? Well, Narutam then left again. And again, the whole day walking and chanting and absorbed. And then in the evening, the same thing would happen. And in this way, village after village, he touched. And, he, and, and all the people in these villages would just walk with him to the edge of the village and stand there and see him leave until they couldn't even see a trace of dust in the sky. So this is Narutam Vilas, just showing how the devotees of Lord Chaitanya preached, um, simply sharing their ecstasy, sharing their happiness in appreciating Krishna. How amazing is Krishna? How wonderful is Krishna? How kind is Krishna? Um, no service ever goes unnoticed. Krishna, he's known as Achuta, the one who never fails, Prabhupada said, the one who never fails to reciprocate with any service done. Uh, that is Krishna. And his devotees, they become like that also. They also should never fail 
to reciprocate with any service done. And in this way, we, our, our movement is based on reciprocation. It is based on, on reciprocation for, for service. Right? You engage someone in service and you reciprocate in that service. And in this way, the exchange becomes more and more wonderful. In this way, this movement agrees, uh, expands on, it increases, it expands on, on deeper and deeper uh, heartfelt relationships uh, that that come about by this reciprocation uh, on the basis of devotional service to Krishna. Anyone, any service, yes, yes, we must, we must somehow or other give them some mercy. Uh, even anyone showing a spark of interest, oh, take, take some service like this. This is the spirit of Lord Chaitanya's Sankatan movement. So, although sannyas is difficult, and although renunciation is, is hard to maintain, uh, one who is completely absorbed in the mood of, of sharing this wonderful uh, Krishna consciousness while tasting it himself. Uh, such a person, he won't even notice uh, the, uh, the, the pain of renunciation, rather. It is a liberation uh, to just be able to be completely absorbed in Krishna. After all, for one who is glorifying Krishna with great taste, 24 hours is not enough. It's not enough. Uh, it's gone too quick. Uh, there's more to say, more to do. It's not enough. So in this spirit, the devotees of Lord Chaitanya can certainly take, uh, take sannyas. Mm. Time. Is there a question? <laughs>